Graph of polynomial functions, zero and multiplicity practice set. Previous video showed definition of zeros and multiplicity. This video presents how zeros and their multiplicity impact to graph behavior of polynomial functions. In particular, the graph of polynomial function will touch the x-axis at zeros with even multiplicities. The graph will cross the x-axis at zero with odd multiplicities. For example, we have function f of x. Zeros of this function, it would be negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 2. Multiplicity, multiplicity of zero, it would be 2, 1, 1, and 3. Do you remember multiplicity? It is value of exponent of zeros. Now, what about behavior of our function? Zero equals negative two has even multiplicity. So our graph will touch x-axis at x-intercept point equals negative two. Touch like that or like that. This is depend of uh, end behavior. 0 equals negative 1 has multiplicity, add multiplicity. It is add multiplicity. So our graph will cross x-axis point negative 1 cross. After we have x equals 3, 0 equals 3, multiplicity add. Our graph will cross. And we have 0 equals 2, multiplicity 3, add value multiplicity again. So it would be 2, again our graph will cross x is x. This function from previous slide. And we can see our graph touch x axis and x equals negative 2 cross x equals negative 1 and x equals 2 cross and x equals 3. Negative 2 just touch. You can see touch. Why? Because x equals negative 2, 0 has, you can see, even multiplicity. It is multiplicity equals 2. Negative 1 has multiplicity equals 1. Add multiplicity. 2 has multiplicity equals 3, add multiplicity, and 0 equals 3 has multiplicity equals 1, add value of multiplicity. So graph cross our x-axis. The first example, we have to find real zeros and state the multiplicity of any repeated zeros using graph. The first step we have to find zeros. Zeros of our graph it would be negative one and two. We can see our graph touch x axis and this point. So this is zeros must have even multiplicity, both zeros. So we can see negative one, two. Negative one, zeros and two. Multiplicity to even is good and multiplicity to even. So this is looks good, but we will check B. B is 0, negative 3, negative 1. No, it is not multiplicity of our function. Eliminate B. 0, 2, negative 1. It is not zeros of our given function. So eliminate C. 0, negative 3 as well. It is not. Uh, 0 is not 0 of our function, negative 3 as well, so eliminate Z. And we can see it is a correct answer for our example. Next example. The first step we find zeros. Zeros equals negative 2, 0 equals 0, and according to scale carefully it would be 1. Now we can see negative 2 our graph touch axis x, so must be even multiplicity. 0 cross must be odd multiplicity. 
one crosses well zero equals one must have add value of multiplicity so now we can see we can check zero one negative three no we eliminate eight because it is incorrect we have zeros negative two zero one b negative one one negative two as well eliminate c zero two negative two negative one eliminate so look like d good for us just double check zero multiplicity one usually we ignore multiplicity one zero equals one yes it is our graph have one and negative two multiplicity two even multiplicity so d it is correct answer Next example, absolutely the same given information. We have to find real zeros and state the multiplicity of any repeated zeros. The first step we have to find zeros. Look at the graph, find x intercept values. So it would be negative three, carefully with scale, it would be negative three over two and zero. Now we analyze graph behavior we can see our graph cross x axis at every x intercept point so we can say our zeros must have add value of multiplicity it would be one three five so we will analyze our multiple choice answer a looks good because 0, negative 3, negative 3 over 2. After we check B, B 0 and 2. No, it doesn't work for us. 0, negative for negative 1. It is values not for our, of our function. So we eliminate C. So we have 2 and negative 1. No, it is not about this graph. So we can see A, it would be correct answer next example next example the same situation we have to find zeros we can see do you remember zeros it is x intercept point values x intercept values so the first value it is zero the second value it is two now we can see our graph touch touch x axis at this point so multiplicity must be even for both zeros. Now we analyze our multiple choice answer. A, negative two we have and two. No, it is not about our uh, uh, function. One and four. No, as well, we eliminated B. C, zero multiplicity two and two multiplicity two looks good because multiplicity even value, multiplicity even value, and zero equals one, uh, zero and zero equals two what about d d we can see zero one and negative two no it is not our zeros eliminate d so we check again double check c zero equals zero multiplicity two even value it's good for us and the second zero equals two multiplicity two even value works for us so see it is correct answer thank you for watching and see you soon